Hey friends, Amanda here, Fair Bones Living, and today I am building my new green stock. Um, I already have an original green stock that I can show you in just a second, and I've had in previous videos, but it's like the original, they're the deeper pockets. This is their newer version called the Leaf, which is a shallower pocket, and you can put vegetables in there that have shallower root systems like lettuces and things like that and that is what I intend on using this green stalk for. Um, since we are planning on moving this year I'm growing everything in or pretty much everything in containers so that I can bring it with me and so I decided to try out the leaf and do all of my lettuces in the leaf. So I'm going to set this up today. I also have another box over here. And this is my greenhouse, a replacement for my greenhouse. I'll also show you that today. Spring is in the air. It's not quite spring yet, but it's supposed to be like a high of 69 today, and we are taking advantage of this beautiful weather. It's I'm not like it's sunny or anything like that. It's a little overcast, but it's still a very welcome feeling of in the 50s right now. We're almost at 60 degrees, so we're taking advantage of this weather and this time that we have right before baby comes and I'm trying to get as much out in the garden prepared as I can because I have starts inside that are ready to go in the ground very very soon. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me and we'll put these guys together and maybe I'll get them filled with some soil. I don't know exactly how far I'm gonna to get today but we'll we'll see <laughs> so this is my original green stock that I have been using for three years I believe um, and to be quite honest with you my garden is a disaster I did not put my garden to sleep last year and um, before fall or around fall I just got to overwhelmed with the produce that we were getting while I was pregnant. I had low ambition levels and things like that and it just got away from me and so we put some leaves on the garden beds but I didn't take out any of my supports. I didn't take out any of my plants and I'm just trying to pick up all the pieces today but basically what is here these are strawberries and what I plan on doing with this original green stock is I'm gonna take these these two rows and I'm actually gonna put them on the top I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit and I'm gonna have two tiers of strawberries now these strawberries are only in it's in every one of these cells on this row but up here I think I only have the three, yeah, I only have three plants in here. Uh, last year I had ambitions to take, obviously I had lots of runners and I planned on taking clippings of these runners and sticking them into these pockets to produce more plants, but again I just didn't get, a lot, get around to it, so that's my plan for the for this year is I'm going to take runners and fill the other three cells that don't have anything in it with strawberries and that'll be my top two tiers. And then with the bottom three tiers I'm going to be putting, I ordered sweet potatoes, sweet potato slips. So I'm going to be planting sweet potatoes in the bottom three tiers and the way that you do that in a green stock is you do it you put one slip every other cell so that they have enough room to produce 
sweet potatoes. Um, I did this the first year that I had this original green stock. I grew sweet potatoes in just the bottom, uh, just the bottom tier. And that was before I had this turnstile. And I actually had this green stock in the corner of my raised garden bed. And I actually had a sweet potato grow through the bottom because this was just sitting on my garden bed on the dirt. Summer has begun and we are fine The sound of virtues will cast up I love the way you smile, you're all I need the sky I see deep in your eyes A lonely road, light the fire I know that we are tired Wake up in the mountain at your side Feel alive, we're coming the remnants of my greenhouse. Um, it served us fairly well last year. Um, I think we only had it for one year. Um, and I feel like it would have lasted us longer had we not had that tornado. Um, we only, I mean, these are not the, the best quality greenhouses it was maybe like 80 bucks um, not super sturdy but I had I had hundreds of plants and plant starts in here um, in spring last year and it really helped me out um, and then it had like a door here in the front and the only thing you know, our harsh winters, kind of, it was just covered in plastic. I don't even know what kind of material that was. And the only thing that started to deteriorate was it, the seam by the door started to shrink and separate at the door, at like the zip, it was like a zipper roll-up door. And I think from the winter, so maybe I had this two years, I can't remember. Um, the fluctuation in temperature definitely did something to the, the seams of the door. And it got too tight and tore a little hole in it. But it would have lasted us longer had the tornado not completely destroyed it. The tornado 
split the plastic and so it was still fairly covered. You can see some of the this is some of the plastic still back here. Um, but it definitely split the plastic and then it was hanging over the edge and our puppy definitely came and just ripped off the hanging plastic edges and it was like a, a game for her. She hit it all over my raspberry patch and it was just scattered throughout our yard. There's pieces in here so we're cleaning this up. I bought a new one. I bought a new one but we're hoping just to be able to use the plastic that came in the new one even though this is pretty rotted we're I don't know we're we're figuring it out now what we're just gonna what we can leave up and if we can just put the plastic over it because it's the same general size it's a different model um, and then these are my blueberry plants that I just had. I had to get them up because the puppy was destroying everything in my garden. She destroyed my blackberry bush, which I think I think will come back and will survive. The raspberries, she broke off some, but there's so many in there and they're so prolific, I'm not really worried about it. And I did not, she actually ripped this blueberry plant out of the pot so I don't know how that's gonna fare but I need to up pot these and do some maintenance on my blueberries this year um, so I'm gonna be addressing that and we'll see what we can do with this greenhouse here because I'm gonna have to put some I you know I don't need to put my lettuces and brassicas or anything really in here they can they can be outside when I'm ready to move them outside but for like tomatoes and things like that when once I start doing those we don't have a ton of space in our house to hold them for a long time once they start really growing and I have to start separating them out so that's my plan for this greenhouse so that's Mike's going to be working on this while I'm working on the green stock and we'll just kind of see where we get to today. Basking little beauties. You boys enjoying the weather? Yeah. Yeah, is it beautiful outside? Uh-huh. You, you can see later. I'm taking the video of you, silly. Can you wave hi to the camera? Are we going to have a fire later? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, our first fire of the year. Doesn't that sound lovely? Yeah. It's beautiful out here. Shoulders of giants make themselves a line to make the people defiant. That's the way the world came. Back with rebels and heretics, it's all the same. So you can keep on running your charade, but I keep on running and gunning in my parade. Doesn't have to make you feel good, just doesn't have to wreck everyone else's mood. Cause I had things to do that never got done. It doesn't matter now if I'm having fun. The trees don't lie, they don't steal a cheat But a tree can't change the world, that's how we got them to be Cause I came here to talk and I spent twice as much time listening, yeah
ready, I'll attack the words, give it everything I've got. But what's left is fool's gold, there's more that it's not. It ain't nothing but a pretty color, and even that could be full of Came out as a caterpillar, went in as a rock of feather. But I had things to do that never got done. It doesn't matter now. Change the world, that's how we got them to be. Cause I came here to talk and I spent twice as much time as me. Yeah. And when the blood began to wash away the things that we all feel, and what does it matter now that all I have is this buzz in my ear? Well, cause I came here to talk and I spent twice as much time as together I actually ran out of my soil mix Thank you, baby. to finish filling these that is one lesson that I learned from building this one I built it without filling each individual layer of or each tier with soil first um, and then had like a, a duh moment <laughs> and had to take it all apart and do layer by layer. Um, so they're filled up through this one, but I still need, I need to get more soil to finish off this one. But we still have a little bit of time before I need to plant these out. But I am glad to have it done. And as you can see the height similarity, they're almost exactly the same height. It's seven tiers in this one, and there's five tiers in this one. So like three, three tiers, or I think four tiers here was the size of three tiers here, yeah. So that's the, the difference in comparison to the two. Um, they went together pretty easy, took longer to do it this time around, but I can only do so much, and it uh, didn't put me into labor yet, so <laughs> that's one, one thing. Um, before I plant this out, I'm going to have to water, well, I'll have to fill it with soil, obviously, and then you want to water all of this before you plant in it but I'll bring you guys back for that. And then you guys saw Mike do the uh, greenhouse. Um, it was exactly the same dimensions like we had expected. And so he just replaced three of the supports. Those front two that you saw were rusted. And then one of the ones right behind it was rusted. So he just replaced those two 
and was able to just use the new plastic, so that was really good. And then he put on those two back supports, or like those tie downs, which they're not the best quality, but we were discussing it. And we never put the front um, tie downs down. And he's like, should we put on the front tie downs? And I was like, well, we didn't have them for the first one. And a tornado hit and it didn't like pick it up and throw it anywhere. So the plastic just ripped. Everything else stayed intact. I was like, so if we didn't have it during a tornado, and it was okay. I think we're going to be okay for the time that we're here not to put down those front ties. And he's like, yeah. I think you're probably right about that. So I'm pretty happy with where we're at right now. Happy with what we got done. I also cleaned up my patio garden. I still had cherry tomato skeletons that were up on my trellises and things like that. I still had tomato cages where my peppers were and the old pepper plants. I took those out and just tried to clean up our patio situation here a little bit so that we're a little bit more prepared for spring and prepared for our garden a little bit more. And we got to enjoy this beautiful day. Now we're gonna go take a break and have some lunch. And then I think we're probably gonna barbecue tonight because it's just so beautiful. Why not? Take advantage of this weather. And it's supposed to actually snow on Monday, which is when I'm being induced. And then I think snow again on the following Thursday. So, you know, that's just how our Chicago springs slash winter transition works, right? So we will take advantage of this beautiful day. It's currently 66 degrees. Sun came out and I'm sweating. <laughs> but I will take it. It's gorgeous out here. Um, thanks for coming by and spending some time with us and checking out what we were doing today. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.